Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for ya. I know, exciting, huh? I got some things, let me scooch back a little bit. I also have a cable hanging over here, and I have a dog visitor. This is Ellie. Say hi, Ellie. Okay, lay down. Ellie is a friend of mine's dog, and I'm dog sitting this week, so she's gonna help us. Lay down. Ellie's a golden retriever, and she's the sweetest girl. All right, go see your cats. Lay down. Lay down. Come on, lay down. Good girl. Thank you. Oh, good job. Okay, so this is in no particular order. Look at these. These are those Wallies, but they're sticker. I mean, they are, they're sticky. Look at the succulents, guys. Is that not everything? And there are a ton on here. Obviously, you could decorate your house. Um, I have some on the front of my washing machine. Um, you could put it all on paper. You could put them in your planner. I just think they're amazing. Like, wouldn't that be so pretty as a planner cover? I need to get a um, laminator is what I need. But I thought these were amazing, and the quality is pretty good. And the color, oh, sorry, Ellie. And the colors are good. So I grabbed that. Look at this book. It's a knitting book for um, French press. So they're coffee cozies for your French press. Um, I feel like, I don't know that I would pay more than a dollar. It's a very specific, um, you know, item. Oh, that's um, where you felt it. It's a very specific item. This was regularly $9.99. It looks like it only sold in overseas because it's in pounds. But yeah, it's coffee cozies and these are all knitted patterns. I thought this would be super fun to make one. I do have a French press, but again, I don't know that I would have spent $10 for this. Again, just because of the, you know, it's one item in just different styles, but for $1, hex yeah. So I grabbed that. Oh, wait till you see what my store has back in stock. The wooden houses and i did get i think i got two of the same yeah but they all have different backgrounds so i have two of the tall ones and then i have one of each of this size but think about this like this one you could put for christmas like a nativity scene or a little um Christmas tree in here and just make it one but the backs are really cute now I will tell you these do not spray paint well I had a hard time I just used um, chalk paint on them for when I did my Christmas one but I think these are sweet you could also do something for fall Halloween you could make like um, haunted houses in these different shapes and put them out or a Christmas village and you could decorate each house differently I just got the four for now. I definitely have already a Christmas um, thing done. I have a video on my channel where I took enough and I wrote believe. But and what I did is I took um, sticker letters and put them inside and I decorated it. It was really fun. So I did that. I got a new lighter. I know it's super exciting, but you know you need lighters when you have candles. I grabbed a card. It was a get well soon card. I need to put this in the mail this week um, for somebody who just has surgery. And they have great cards. It just says get well soon. May each, may each day of rest and recuperation bring you closer to good health. Just want you to know you're kept in mind with special hope that you're feeling completely well again soon. And look at the pretty flowers. And it's got a little glitter. So I grabbed that. Oh, I got these. I think for fall, I've been seeing a lot of this coppery color decor, and I feel like this is going to be great with my fall decor, this color. Now, these are not beads. They're just um, confetti. Oh, no, 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 sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> Excuse me. What's your head, girlfriend? There we go. Sorry about that. Ellie wanted to get comfy. Um, and then the black and the gold. I thought these were fun colors. But they're just confetti. Like you could glue them to things. It's called tube confetti. 
So I don't know if you could string it. I don't, probably wouldn't, but I think it would be really pretty um, in the ornament or something, but I'm thinking for fall. I like that color a lot. Yeah, so I grabbed one of those. Um, I found finally some rubber gloves, and this is for me for crafting. These are vinyl giant, or vinyl gloves, 10 of them. Just for craft purposes, I won't wear them out in out of public, but for uh, painting and stuff, I like to have some rubber gloves, but they were hard to come by. Um, let me get this stuff together. Here, I'll do these last. I have receipts, I have I have all the things, guys. Oh, I found one of these randomly around. It is a garden bag. Um, but I will tell you what I used this for was when I um, was cleaning out my potted plants and I filled it with all the dirt and debris and just drug it to my curb and they took it. So I grabbed another one. I'll be cleaning out my garage soon and thought this would become in handy. And for $1.00. You know, it's not something I'm going to carry around. It definitely is not the quality of like an Ikea bag, but it's pretty big and it's great for, um, you know, trash and cleaning projects or storing stuffies. Like if you need to store a bunch of stuffed animals, you can totally fill this bag with stuffies. That would be great. But I found one on the, on the lamb, if you will, and it was just random. So I grabbed it because I had already used one. I got another one of these balls. Um, they work really well. Now, Ellie's not an excessive chewer. This one I'm taking to my cousins, and we will watch the dogs, and her dogs are used to like tennis ball, and this is tennis ball size. But um, it held up, she loves it. She was chewing on it the other day. So I grabbed one more to take to my cousins. I still have to get out there and do that video, but our schedules need to coincide. I picked up this glue, uh, pink glue, glitter glue in green now i have done a test and i will do a video on all of their glitter glues and show you how much i like them but this worked out really well this this specific ones i have it in gold and a clear and i wanted it in red and green so i grabbed a green i didn't see the red but i'll grab it and they also had it neon and it really now it does take a while to dry i will say that it did take overnight to dry on the test that i did but I will have a video out soon on these. This is a good find at the Dollar Tree. And look how much you get. I mean, that is three, almost four ounces of this glue. That worked out really, really well. I don't have too much this week, um, but I did find something super exciting. You know, I love these things. They had at my store Cherry 7 Up, which I love. And this one here is my absolute favorite for the holidays. And they only come out with this around Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's the real drink, the ginger ale with cranberry. But now I have drink mixes. Now it's not carbonated, but it's delicious. Um, and I love this. So I grabbed several boxes, two of these and like three of this one to keep on hand. So I don't, unless again, unless I find a different Brain, you know a different flavor like when I ran into these I don't need any more of these for summer will be perfectly fine Miss Ellie is laying on her back with her belly up she's so cute oh she's so cute oh I've got this and I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow night um, it is a soothing jojoba oil hair mask by Freeman I think they sell this brand at Walmart or different stores but I was using Love Beauty and Planet, and I need a haircut, guys. Love Beauty and Planet shampoo and conditioner, and it dried my scalp out pretty bad. So I've switched shampoo brands. It's not as itchy, but I think this will help with itchy and dry hair. Now, because I cut my hair frequently, I'm not really worried about my ends frying or drying up, but my scalp was super dry. So I got a treatment to try and moisturize, and this has jojoba oil in it and what do you do after shampooing apply a generous amount to clean damp hair gently massage through the hair um leave on for three to five minutes yeah i'm gonna do it for like an hour so i grabbed one of those to try i don't have any hair masks uh for the house i grabbed two of these sunbeam these are like the um dressing mirror light bulbs the pretty big round ones they go in my bathroom 
in my craft room, actually three of my four bathrooms take this light bulb and they're expensive. So when I see them in there, I grab them. Two of them burnt out in my bedroom. So I need to replace these, but I need to get some more. Um, they're, they're pretty good quality. I'm gonna mark the, the light bulb or this box or a piece of post it on my lamp or something or on my mirror, how long they last. Because I know a four pack at Home Depot is like $12. So we'll see, but I need to change these out. And this is Sunbeam brand. I mean, this is a, a name brand. So I grabbed two for now. I picked up for the kids for school a 200 count. This is a good package of index cards. Um, typically right now, this time of year, they have the 100 for a dollar or 50 cents. So I thought the 200 was a decent deal. So I grabbed it put this in the kids back to school um, packaging that I do for my little cousins who I love dearly um, every year that's something that I like to do for them is go buy them back to school stuff so that will go with their back to school now I'm not sure which kid will need it they can just go through the box at this point one is a senior in high school one will be in eighth grade they can figure out who needs what although I do have specific things for Addie she has a list Riley, who's in high school, won't get a list till school starts, but things like pens and pencils and notebook paper and index cards and highlighters, they're both going to need that kind of stuff. So I just stock them up. So I grabbed that. It was a good deal. Um, I found this. I have never seen this product, but it's Power Aid Zero Water. Zero sugar, zero carbohydrates. I haven't tried it yet, but this is Tropical Mango. It's just flavored water instead of, but it does have electrolytes and vitamins. So it's something different than regular Powerade. So I wanted to try it. I thought this is a pretty cool thing. I've not seen it. If I ever get my all on my bike. I know, right? But they had this in a different flavor and I like that it has zero sugar. For me, I did grab, I'm gonna show you those in a minute. Look at these containers. So my goal, is to switch over to glass storage containers. Um, not all at once, but as I see them start switching over. And this, I wanna say this has got to be, oh, it's. I thought it was gonna be 16 ounce. It's 14 ounce container, which is a good portion. It has the plastic lid, but it's glass. Um, I love the retro feel to it. Think about like, parfaits, yogurt, fruit, things in your refrigerator that you need to store, anything. But I did grab two of them in this size because I thought that would be perfect for leftover for me. I'm a single lady, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. And so this is the size of my leftovers. So I thought that would be perfect. And I like that the lid is on pretty tight. We'll try, I'm just trusting them out and see. But um, I do want to get away from plastics. So, I grabbed two and I thought these were fantastic. And I feel like I've seen a Target haul where they had smaller ones in the dollar spot, like three packs. So we'll have to check those out as well. But for now, I'm gonna start replacing um, some of my plastic stuff with the glass. Especially now that I'm working from home and probably will be through the rest of this year and into next year. Um, I'm not taking a lunch to work, so I don't need as much storage lunch containers. Now, please, is this not an adorable little candle? And it says, I'm gonna take it out because this is gonna get put on my counter. Oh, interesting, it opens from the side. This would be adorable in like a little gift, a little pick-me-up gift, a little spring something. Now it's all wax, like this is wax and the top is wax, but it says live what you love. There's no scent to it. It is a candle, so it's all candle wax. So I'm assuming you would put this on something and it would burn and melt the whole way down, but isn't that adorable? I had to have it. And they think that my store had a different, like a more rounded cactus in a blue. I don't remember what it said, but I liked this green and gray. I love green and gold and gray right now. It's my jam. So we'll put this behind us. I'll set it over here and it'll get placed somewhere. And then the last thing I picked up 
are two of these. I'm going to open one. I'm going to give somebody one. It's Harry Potter. So I, you know it was more than a dollar. Backpack Buddies. Uh, look out for rare mystery wand. I don't know what the mystery wand is, but we get a choice of getting Ron Weasley, Ginny Weasley, Harmony, um, uh, Luna Lovegood. Oh, I want hers. Harry Potter's wand, Professor Dumbledore, or Professor Snape. And each one contains one wand. So I did pick up two. But we're going to open one and see who we get. Right? And it's fun for your backpack if you're a Harry Potter fan, which who isn't? They come in this little cardboard so you can't feel it and see who it belongs to. So who did I get? I don't know. Oh, it says I got Dumbledore. How sweet is that? And then it just hooks. You just hook it. It's got a like a carabiner and you hook it on your backpack. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I just thought that was fun. I wanted to show you and I have a friend who will like these. I'll give her this one too. So we got Dumbledore. That's a fun little gift. And again, guys, stocking stuffers, it's July. Christmas is coming. If you've got a little one that likes these kind of blind bags or Harry Potter, perfect stocking stuff for a little gift. And it's not bad. I mean, it's not great quality, but it is Dumbledore's wand. All right, everybody, that is my haul for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Things are going to slow down a little bit again um, with the COVID ramping back up. I'm just not real comfortable being out and about too terribly much, but I will bring you some content and hope you enjoy. And if you haven't, like, subscribe, share, comment below. Let's help grow this channel. All right, everybody, you have a good one. Bye.